first of all, I'm going to I'm going to be talking about uh, the social media marketing aspect of the seminar. But before I go into it, I'd just like to do a poll to get some information from you guys. So let's just see the first poll. Let me start it. How long have you been using Zoho tools? If you guys could all just uh, select and let's just see what we come what we get here all right we've got 35 people answering it more 40 keep going everyone uh, c45 okay so there are a lot that have uh, been between zero and three years we've got 28 votes there i will show the results to you and there are a few that haven't been using Zoho yet, which is great that you're with us this morning. All right, so I just shown the results to you guys, so you can see them on your screen. Okay, and then the next poll I just want to share with you guys is current Zoho marketing tools that you guys are using. If you could please just answer that poll. We've got Zoho Campaign, Zoho Social, we've got Zoho Sites, Page Sense, Sales IQ, Zoho, um, Zoho. Okay, all right, so I will show the results to you guys. Zoho Campaigns comes out on top and then others, nothing yet. I see some more people are still answering, which is great. Okay, we'll just move along swiftly. All right, so this morning I'm gonna be talking about social media marketing with Zoho Social. Okay, so let's get into it. All right, so Zoho Social has a desktop and a mobile application. You can also then view it on your iPad, which is great. Um, then, Zoho Social allows you to schedule posts so you can save time, you can monitor everything that matters, you can collaborate with your team on all things social, and you can analyze your brand's performance. Um, now you'll see the organic versus paid likes um, in the image on the right-hand side, and you're also able to link Zoho Social to your Facebook lead, lead ads uh, manager, which is great, you can create those, those posts uh, straight out of Zoho Social, and I'll take you through that in the demo. All right, the Zoho Social connectors. We've got Google My Business, which is a great place to post. So you post once in Zoho Social, and it will then distribute your post to Google My Business, Instagram. We've got Facebook, um, a Facebook page or Facebook group. Um, you can do either or, or both. You've got your Twitter, and we've also got LinkedIn personal profile and company um, page in LinkedIn. So there's a lot of uh, social media distribution that you're able to do. Zoho Social integrates with Facebook ad leads, which is great. You can connect it to your ad account, you can run the adverts, and you can monitor the form entries through Facebook, and you'll get um, a list of all those entries in Zoho Social, and you can link it into your CRM. So Zoho Social does integrate with CRM. And one other thing that you can do is you can integrate it with your support desk. So if someone messages you on your company Facebook page and it's an urgent issue, then you can automatically generate a, a desk support desk ticket for that message, which is great. Okay, so I'll go through to the live demo. Let me just quickly check the chat. Someone says not seeing, can't see. You might want to just refresh your screen. Are, are there any people that did see my presentation? Can you just let me know in the chat bar? Okay, people. Some people can see it. So for those who couldn't see it, it's best to just you know um, refresh your browser. Okay. All right. So let me share my screen with you to go through to the the live demo. Okay, you should be seeing my screen. Let me go through to the live demo. 
Okay, I'm quickly going to just check back. Everyone, can you see my my screen? There we go. All good. Perfect. All right. So here's Zoho Social for a company, a property brokerage company. The home page, you're able to see the brand health. So you can see all the connections over here. You can see the audience. You can see all your statistics. And then you can see all your recent posts that have been made. You can see the Facebook post. This one's the, the LinkedIn post, and that's the Google My Business post, and that's the, the Instagram post there. Some posts uh, are selected for different timings. And in Zoho Social, an important thing is on the top left, you can click and you have your various brands. So you can add other brands. So Zoho also does have Zoho Social for marketing agencies where you can actually manage a whole bunch of different brands and you can manage them under your portal. And so your portal will be, let's say, your company. Okay, over here we've got the portals on the right-hand side. Um, so if you're, let's say, a digital marketing agency, it can be Digital Marketing Agency Limited company over here. And then you can have the various brands that you manage over here, um, which is great. Okay. Then this is the home page, which is just recent posts. Then I just want to go into the settings to show you guys the settings, your brand settings. So each brand you can set different settings. You can have different time zones for your different brands. The different social channels that you plug in that brand. Um, and then if you're wanting to have another Facebook page, let's say your company has two different Facebook pages, you would have to create uh, another brand for that separate Facebook page. Otherwise, you can connect all these different connectors to one brand. You can then manage the members that have access to your brands and you can see you can say which brands they have access to. Um, and just go back to this page. If you are a marketing agency, you will have um, client, you'll have client members. So clients then can also access a client portal, but I'll show you that going forward, or I can show you that actually right now. So for digital marketing agencies, you can actually have your 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 portal um, branded. So you can have like on the bottom right, you can have uh, a unique URL for your portal, and then you know, there's the unique the unique portal URL, and then your clients can then log into the portal, which is what this uh, login page looks like, and then this is what the client portal looks like. So they can see the posts according to their brand that you're, that you're managing. Um, they can then also collaborate by um, sending you messages and they can also see their own reports and their own reports will look something similar to this. So it's really nice for any marketing agencies out there if you manage different brands and you want to display them to your clients. The great way of doing it. Okay, next, publishing, you can put your your queue times, the best times to, to post um, your different posts. Uh, and that's just for suggesting post times. And then you can also just, you can pause your posts and you can also then choose which um, link shortener you want to use. Then roles and permissions, you can have different types of roles and assign them to different people. You can, you can um, edit your notifications, who gets notified for what. Your lead generation, you can link that in with your CRM. Um, and you can have other um, ways of, let's say, create a lead or a contact in your CRM if someone comments on your page post. So there's a lot of settings and uh, abilities there. Ticket creation, this is for your desk integration. So you can say, if I get a message and let's say the message has a keyword that says urgent, then you can add that keyword and you can have it sent to the, let's say the, the team born support. Um, so it's a lot of functionality there as well. Then your general settings, you can see all your different active and deactivated users. And in here, if, you're, if you've got the marketing agency version, then you will see your client portal users in here as well. Then you've got your portal settings where you can, if you've got the agency, you can have a unique URL. And then you've got your audit log to see exactly who's done what on Zoho Social. Okay, you've also got your team notifications and your own notifications here. And it's real quick and easy to go ahead and make a post. 
So we just got through the, the post session. I will show you all the different posts that you have. Uh, if you've got any promoted posts, you'll have them. Any scheduled posts, you'll have them here. And another thing is the calendar is a great way to see where your posts are and to make sure you're distributing your posts. And you can easily just drag your posts to make sure that you're really covering um, and getting you know consistent posting. Then here's the Facebook lead generation. You can generate your forms and your adverts over here. And just to quickly show you what it looks like when you publish, you can do your post over here. You can add your images by clicking on the left. And then really, really neat tool. You can publish now. You can schedule for a specific date. You can add to queue, which you've already put into your settings, or this will really interest you. It will. Then, this is um, a smart queue which picks up which posts were um, you know, interacted with best, and it will then pick a time that is best for you to post. So this is a really powerful tool to use. It goes through your analytics and it, and it suggests the best post time. Okay, then with message, you'll get all the messages that have come in through your Facebook posts or your Instagram posts. Then you've got a monitoring page where you can monitor visitors, posts, reviews, contacts and leads. And then we have, this is the, the different connections with the different people and you get your, you can get your CRM leads and people that have connected with you. Collaboration, where this will show all the different discussions that you've had. And I'll quickly show you how you get to your discussions. So here's the report. So if you wanna discuss with your team a certain report, you can click on the right over here and you click discuss and it will open up your discussions center and you can actually talk to your team and, and comment on a report or you can comment on a post if need be and so that's what the the collaboration section is for okay and the reports you can email them you can schedule the emails to email your reports every so often um, and you can get a lot of different reports uh, and they're great. The, the interactive reports are really, really, really good. Um, performance and reach and impression. And you see, as you move along these different reports, they're interactive. And it's great to see your coverage around the world, who's viewing your posts and where the majority of them are. Okay poll has been done already. Let me show you the results of that. Let me quickly check the chats. Okay, yes, everyone will get a recording of this of this session in a couple of days' time. So the poll has been answered there. Which is great. Most of you are on social. A lot of people haven't used anything yet. You definitely need to use Zoho Social. It's a, it's an incredible tool. Um, so let me just show share with you a a video a testimonial for one of our um, one of our customers. So my name's Sheldon Maxwell, and I am the project and marketing manager here at Creative Seven Designs. Creative Seven Designs. We are a creative agency. We specialize in website design, uh, graphic design, and marketing. Creative 7 Designs switched over to Zoho Social about two years ago. One of the things that we really were looking for when we were looking for a solution was a platform that was forward thinking. Because as we know, the target's always moving. And if our tools are not moving with us, then we're missing opportunities on behalf of our clients. So with Zoho Social, we're looking forward both to the features coming out, but the features that we currently have that help us hit the target for our clients. Zoho Social has really helped grow ourselves and our clients' social media presence and online presence just because we're able to post so consistently. By scheduling every month, we know that stuff's going out so that I can, you know, think about the more pressing issues, you know, coming up with quality content, working directly with our clients. So another great feature of Zoho Social is the reporting. At the end of each month, I do a report for all of our clients, you know, how they did on social media, if it improved, if things were like lacking there. The new in-depth reporting on Zoho Social has really helped me with that. I'm able to pull a lot of data to be able to give my clients. 
I would definitely recommend Zoho to other brands and other marketing agencies uh, just because of the ease of use. It's extremely intuitive and user friendly. As a marketing manager, it makes my life a lot easier because I'm able to schedule everything out, do all the reporting, see what's going on with each of our brands. And it's so nice to have that all in one place. One of the biggest challenges of being a business owner is time management. You end up working 80 to 100 hours a week. And that takes away from the things and really the reasons why we work, right? Like our family at home. Using tools like Zoho Social has enabled me to put in more like 40 or 60 hours a week and given me more time for the things that are important. Friends, family, adventures, experiences. And I really love that about tools like Zoho Social. It just helps me accomplish that. Okay. All right. So thank you very much. That's the end of the, the social, Zoho social presentation. Um, if you have any questions, please put them in the questions tab on the left-hand side. And if you need to email me directly, you can actually click on my email address there, and you're welcome to email me um, for all the Africa-related uh, queries. Okay, and any questions? I'll just quickly have a look to see. Okay, most of the questions look to have been answered. All right, so I was just wondering if you guys could just keep, take some time to just fill out our survey. It's The link has been put in the chat. So if you click on that link, it'll take you to Zoho Survey, which is one of our other apps. That, uh, that we use and obviously our customers use. If you could please just fill that in and let us know exactly how you found the experience and if you would like any future training seminars, in-depth training seminars, if you would like to receive a certificate of attendance for our training seminars, um, if you'd be interested in a detailed demo of specific products. Um, so yeah, please, that, that uh, survey will really help us improve um, the seminars and the training that we're going to be able to put forward future. And then also, um, Ashton V has shared the, the page where you can see all of our seminars that are happening and you can sign up for them. Um, and that is in the chat box. So if you go to the chat box, you'll find those links in there. And I'm going to stick around for another five or so minutes. Um, let me quickly go to the last slide. And there those links are for you. So the up and coming seminars, you're welcome to click on those links and it should take you to the page. And that is the contact number of our Dubai office. So you're welcome to also call us. Um, and then there's the survey link is at the top. I see Ingrid's asking about Marketing Hub. No, Marketing Hub wasn't included in the seminar, but uh, definitely um, we can do that in the future. And I uh, think, uh, please, just add that, Ingrid, add that in the, um, in the survey that you'd like us to go through Marketing Hub. I see some people are saying that not seeing the links. It should be on the slideshow that I'm presenting. Otherwise, the links are also in the chat box above your messages. Oh, great, thank you. I think it's uh, Megan. Um, yeah, thank you for that for that comment. Uh, we really appreciate it, and we definitely want to try and improve and make sure that we can we can give you access to a lot more training and a lot more insight into Zoho's products.
I see there's a question asking about the, the recording. Yes, we'll have a video, video recording, um, and it should be posted on our social media platform. So we've got a Zoho Mia um, YouTube channel. We've also got a Facebook page. So if you type in Zoho Mia, Zoho M-E-A, then uh, you'll have access to our social social media. We've also got a Twitter account. I see, I see we still have about just over 100 people still in attendance. You guys are still welcome to ask questions, fill out the survey, uh, click on the links in the slideshow. Great. Thank you for your, for your comments. Really appreciate the comments in the chat bar. And uh, also, if you would like some of our brochures, you can check in the handout section. We've got some brochures, PDF brochures, that you, you're able to download. Great. I see a lot of thank yous. Thank you, everyone. Um, I'll still stick around for anyone who does want to ask any more questions. And... Um, Otherwise, that is the, the end of the seminar for today. But uh, yeah, as I said, I'll stick around for a little bit. You're welcome to ask more questions. And uh, for everyone else, if uh, you're good to go, then you're welcome to, to leave the, the seminar. And I hope you all have a great, a great week further. Uh, thank you, Aaron. Uh, thank you for that. Aaron is just thanking all the presenters. We appreciate that. Thank you, and we'll hopefully see you soon in, in future seminars. Okay, I see there, girls just uh, can't get the, the link for the up and coming seminars. Let me quickly get it for you. Okay, so you should be able to click on that link in the chat in the chat box and then when that page opens you just need to scroll down and you'll see that there are three three seminars there the one seminar is the seminar we're doing today and then we've got the the two future seminars but if you keep coming back you'll see you'll see the different seminars if you click on live interviews you'll see the the live interviews that are that are coming up in future and i can tell you i think the first the first live seminar of june we are interviewing a south african um, zoho partner um, and he's got a lot of insight into Zoho, and that should be a very interesting um, interview to watch. And those interviews will be on our YouTube channel and our Facebook, our Facebook page. So yeah, follow us um, for any notifications of those live interviews. Okay, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap things up uh, for now. But um, yeah, thank you very much, everybody. Um, as I said, you're, you're more than welcome to to email our team. Um, you can use the the email Mia, and then it's hyphen solutions at zohocorp.com, uh, and that will come through to the Middle East and Africa team. Uh, and you're also welcome to to email me uh, for any African related queries. And my email address is Andrew. 
dot born and my last name is spelled b-o-u-r-n-e at zohocorp.com so i hope you all have a, a great week forward and um we just hope to see you back here soon thank you everyone